Welcome to a 360-degree video tour of Alcator CMOD, a fusion experiment located on the campus of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. We are developing the science and technology that will harness fusion as a practical energy source using the highest magnetic field experiment in the world. In this video, you can change your view by moving your phone or tablet or by using your mouse. Fusion is the form of energy which powers the sun and the stars and produces all the elements of the periodic table by combining light elements into heavier ones. To do this, tiny amounts of matter are heated to temperatures well over 100 million degrees, forming a superheated gas called a plasma, the most abundant form of matter visible in the universe. The hot plasma is isolated from ordinary matter with strong magnetic fields. A team of over 100 physicists, engineers, technicians, and students from around the world work together on this experiment. When the experiment operates, the hot plasma will be formed inside this vacuum vessel. It is lined with molybdenum tiles to withstand the heat load and instrumented with equipment to measure the plasma properties. Antennas launch radio frequency waves, which will heat the plasma to the temperatures required, several times hotter than the core of the sun. In preparation for operation, the machine is pumped to vacuum. The experimental hall is cleared and sealed, and the magnet power supplies are readied. In the control room, scientists, engineers, students, and technicians from around the world team up to run experiments. Data is collected, displayed, and analyzed to improve our understanding. The plasma lasts for about two seconds. The sound you hear comes from the powerful electromagnets that are used to confine the hot plasma. Light from plasma can be seen through a glass window. However, at the temperatures produced, the plasma emits most of its energy as X-rays. Cameras inside the vessel capture video of the plasma. When fusion is fully developed, it will generate electricity with no carbon dioxide or long-term nuclear waste using abundant and low-cost fuels. This immense promise makes fusion an area of worldwide interest. Dramatic progress has been achieved, but even the largest machines have not yet produced more power from fusion than what is required to run them. The results on CMOD suggest a faster, cheaper route, with future devices utilizing innovative high-field superconducting magnets. The next step could be a machine about twice the size of CMOD. Such a machine could produce about 50 megawatts of fusion power, more than twice what it consumes, opening an accelerated pathway to a fusion-powered world.